all right um, I wanted to make this quick video because some of you have asked about the status of the chair project um, I guess just to show it to you I'd started it here's my website of course I don't know why I went there it's not on there which is why y'all are asking about it so if I go to my channel the DIY Homesmith yeah, the P9L chair part one so this is going to be part 1.5 it's not going to be the making of the chair but um, the last video left off in kind of a cliffhanger where um, I'd imported the file into MakerCam and it uh, had all kinds of issues um, you can see here um, it was just literally horrible so of course my resolution here is also horrible my internet connections sad so anyway um, had all kinds of trouble with it and what I had to do was I went in the original and file had a lot of splines and, but for the and so people who don't have access to it like I do I'm a apparently maker cam doesn't like those so what I did is I went back into AutoCAD and I'll show you real quick I basically redrew it that's a simple thing I redrew it got rid of a lot of the well I got rid of all the splines and probably half of it was splines I redrew it all anyway um, I just traced over the splines and then deleted them and um, so I was left with what you see here and um, essentially the same chair with all the modifications I made in the prior video um, another thing was I think I pasted this as a block and when I inputted it into maker cam originally it didn't like that and it actually took the took the arches out everything here is arches and lines now when I inputted this into maker cam I've already done some of the editing uh, well I've done all the editing and um, I still haven't figured out now I have this drawing set on inches and when I input into maker cam it's really small y'all saw that in the last video so I'm not sure if it's a conversion thing if I need to be drawing in centimeters and importing it I, I don't know what's up with that I'll um, figure some things out here later and uh, do some tests I may make a video of that but um, but I don't know just depends so anyway the now when I inputted this into um, maker cam it liked everything the majority of this drawing is lines um, and chamfers and fillets so it, it didn't have any trouble with any of that where I had trouble with profiles being closed is like right here right here um, those are big arches and it didn't like those um, also here 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 um, the back of the chair here when I redrew it I drew this through these pieces as one long um, arch arc um, I say arc because I use the arc command up here so anyway and then I trimmed it, rounded it over to get these um, fillets right here. Use the fillet command to get those. But when I imported Maker Cam, it wasn't a closed profile. So I had to go back and um, let me see. Where am I at here? Another thing was um, 
that I battled was Microsoft Edge here. Um, I it kept crashing on me, and I've been using Microsoft Edge. I've used Google Chrome in the past. Um, Microsoft Edge. I use the Microsoft Launcher on my phone, so more things sync up. So I started using Edge more and more, but um, MakerCam didn't seem to like it as well. Now I haven't done a lot. Um, with Chrome, um, it's not my default, as you can see. Uh, so anyway, one way I combated um, it from crashing in Edge was I saved it. As soon as I, I'd work on one piece, close the profile, and I'd immediately save it. Now, doing that, it never crashed, so go figure. Um, without doing that, it crashed continually. So I don't think, other than Murphy's Law, um, saving it had any effect other than you save it. It ain't going to crash. You don't save it, it's going to crash. So, so, anyway, we can go into Maker Cam, go to File, Open SVG. This is my... Uh, this is the original SVG file that I had and I'll just show you real quick you know I open it up and it's small it's like 10 inches tall um, so now what I do when I scale this is I went into AutoCAD and I could measure I think this is from top to bottom 34 yeah basically 34 and close to 3 quarters 2 foot 10 uh, 34 inches now so I'll just go ahead and close this out so 34 is what I wanted 34 and 25 30 seconds I'm just gonna make my life easy and say three quarters no all right so what I do to scale this is I count you know one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, and a little less than a half, a little more than a quarter. Um, if you wanted to say 3 eighths, you'd be fine. And so what I do is I go in to here. This is the number I come up with um, for scaling it. I needed to scale it. And what I did is I took um, basically 34... 0.75 which is what I wanted the overall height to be and I'm guessing here about 10 and 3 eighths so I took 34 and 3 quarters divided by um, 10 and whatever I said 10 and 3 eighths and that'll give you a number pretty close to well here I'm looking at a different screen this is the number I come up with I needed it 3.365 times bigger than what it is. So I just come into here to, I had this on another monitor, so I could see it and it won't close whenever I go to do this. So I go to edit, scale selected. Now the number was 3.365. This is doing in 100%. So instead of 3.36, I'm gonna do 336. Point, um, it's actually 0.6 because it was uh, 658. So, anyway, I just did that to. So, you do that, and if you count your squares now, you're right at 34 and 3 quarters. So, that's what that's how I scaled that. I just counted the squares, come up with a pretty good guess. And um, now I'm going to put this video out there. I'm going to load the files up on my website, uh, which is actually why I was on there. Because, again, you can go to my website and click on YouTube files. It's not at 
uploaded yet, but um, I started doing it. I didn't realize. Uh, I started editing this page. So that's up, but that will say chair here before this video gets uploaded. I'll correct that. So anyway, you can go to this YouTube files button and um, download all of these files. Download the DXF, download the SVG. Um, I'll put the original and the one that says MC, which is the maker cam. That was the file I was saving, um, just in case you want it for some reason. Using a different software, want to edit it. And then, of course, I'll put the uh, G code file for the work that I did. So you can go back to any of those steps and modify them. So, my next thing to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that out of there and open up the file that I've been working in. And go to here. I'm going to zoom out so that I can see the whole project. Now, so I'm going to do is hold down the contr control key and select all of the outside profiles and then I'm going to go to cam profile operation um, quarter inch bit all the um, uh, pockets are designed for a quarter inch bit with three quarter inch plywood so um, 0.8 target depth outside safety height 0.2 step down 0.2 feed rate 30 these are just numbers I'm using so it's one reason I include all the files you can go in there and change the, change the numbers use the file how I have it you, know, you can do whatever you need to do okay so do that there's all the profiles now I'm going to go in, deselect that, and select all of these pockets. They were all good last I checked. So, those are selected. I'm going to go up to cam, pocket operation. Now if they stay selected, they're good. So everything stayed selected. We're good. Tool diameter, quarter inch. Now the target depth here, these standoffs, or whatever you want to call them. Ooh, either I didn't select that or that one ain't no good. We'll go back and let's close that out and see. Select it. Go to cam, pocket opera. It's good. I just didn't select it, so. Let me do that again, because it's easier to do it all at once. Hold down control. All right. So now they're all selected. So go to cam, pocket operation. Um, anyway, these little alignment stands right in this area, they're a half inch tall, so I'm going to cut down um, point, let's just say point six. That'll give me a tenth to play. Safety height, point two step over just leave it 40 percent step down doing 0.6 let's do 0.2 so i have three even passes feed rate 30. okay so that's good go to file because i've had things crashing so i'm a little gun shy not to save at this point I redid it about four times before I realized I could save my progress. 
All right, let's go to calculate all. And I don't see any problems. So cam, export G code, profile one, pocket one, quarter inch bit. Export, selected tool paths. Um, type in the G code and we'll save it. And it looks like it's saved. This window didn't close. I guess it doesn't. So let me go into. I don't have ground control installed on the computer, so I can't check it. I will check it before I uploaded it. That's nice. Get rid of those. Okay. Um, I will check the file before I upload in. I'm looking at buying some things on Alibaba, so apparently I've gotten, they finally replied to my inquiry. Anyway, I will check the G-code file in ground control before I um, upload the file, just to make sure it's good. It's on another computer. It's on the laptop that's connected to the uh, Maslow. Um, so I'll have to go and I'll check it before I upload it but I will upload it before I post this video. So if this video's up, go to the website DIYHomesmith.com and get your videos from the YouTube files link. And um, that'll be it for this video. The next video, I'll start off in ground control, um, which will be part two. I'll label this one 1.5 and um, uh, what is today? Well, it's early Wednesday morning, 1248. I should be in the shop before Monday to get this chair cut out. So anyway, maybe I'll cut it out Monday, make a video for that, putting it together. And then, um, I don't know, maybe by oh, maybe by the 24th. I'll have y'all part two up, and uh, I appreciate y'all watching these videos. If there's anything else you'd um, like to see me make or that I can help you with, uh, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to check out DIYHomesmiths.com. It will have all the links to our social media accounts, and we also do make house plans, full house plans, for $20. And um, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to tune into the next video.